My name is Emanuele Cisi. Uh, I come from Italy, from Torino, Italy. I was uh, 16 years old. I uh, started on uh, alto saxophone, and uh, for me it was the most important gift I ever had in my life because uh, I always wanted to study music since when I was very, very little. But there were not really musical tradition in my family, so I really had to convince my parents to to offer me a saxophone, and then. Uh, when I get it, it was uh, the most beautiful day in my life. It was a second-hand alto saxophone, an Italian brand named Orsi. It doesn't ex exist anymore. It was a very, very bad, terrible shape, very bad shape. But to me, it was the most beautiful horn I ever saw. I have to say that uh, the sound for me has always been the, the main thing. Uh, since the very first day I started to blow in a saxophone, I understood that the sound was uh, was something really mysterious, something uh, uh, something very far and difficult to achieve, but to me was the most important thing in, in, in playing saxophone. And um, so it was my like an obsession since the very beginning, and uh, it still is. I mean, w when I practice every day, uh, I, I, I work on my sound. I try to to be better and better on my sound in the control of, of my sound. and. Um, uh, Rico was my very first read when I started. I remember I bought a, a brown box of, uh, of Rico Reed Alto. And uh, uh, since then, my idea of sound was related to that. And so during my career, I experienced with many other brands, but uh, the, the character of Rico Reed uh, still uh, stayed for me the reference, you know, in making a, a saxophone sound. and. Uh, it's the only read I can really play, uh, and to be sure to have this kind of, uh, of body of, of depth in the sound that I'm, I'm looking for. When we talk about the sound, of, or, or the read, or the mouthpiece, or, or the horn, we are you know, talking about something very uh, unique and important that probably any other musicians can really understand. Um, so I think it's a very almost esoteric community in a way and uh, of course I, I, I recommend to any saxophone player to to work on their on, on his own sound and try to develop more and more the sound to me the sound is is the is the reason why I choose to play this beautiful instrument so it's worth to dedicate a lifetime